The Relate 40 in 2022 is a premium thin and light gaming laptop. It's the smallest model of the Razer Blade lineup with, with the other two being the Razer Blade 15 and 17. It replaces the Razer Blade 14 from 2021 with an AMD Ryzen 5900HX CPU paired with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, 3070 and 3080 GPU. The 2022 model retains the same display options as its predecessor as well as NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 GPU option. However, Razer upgraded the CPU to the AMD Ryzen 9 6900HX with DDR5 memory and replaced the RTX 3070 and 3080 with the 3070Ti and 3080Ti. The Razer Blade 14 completes directly with the Asus ROG Zyphras Z14. Our Razer Blade 14 has an AMD Ryzen 9 6900HX CPU and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti discrete GPU, 16 GB of memory and 1 TB of storage. Razer offers only 3 predetermined configurations. The base model has a 1080p 144Hz display paired with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. The other two models have 1440p 165Hz display paired with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti or 3080 Ti. All three models have the same CPU, memory and storage configuration. All three GPUs have a TGP of 100 watt. The Razer Blade 14 is excellent for gaming. It's available with a Full HD or QHD display, both of which have a high refresh rate and free sync support and its AMD Ryzen CPU and NVIDIA Discrete graphics are powerful enough to deliver smooth gameplay at high settings. There's no thermal throttling on the CPU or the GPU and the fans are reasonably white and loud. However, the keyboard gets very hot. It has plenty of USB ports for your peripherals as well as an HDMI 2.1 port for 4K and 120Hz gaming. The pros are runs games smoothly at 1440p, 165Hz panel with fast response time, supports VRR to reduce screen tearing, no thermal throttling on CPU or GPU, keyboard feels great so type to type on. First PCIe Zen 4 SSD. Cons are keyboard gets hot under load, limited to 16 GB memory. The Razer Blade 14 2022 has a clean and modern design with minimal gamer aesthetic. Other than the Razer logo on the lid, which lights up, it wouldn't look out of place in a professional working environment. It has an all black anodized aluminum chassis with a firing speakers and an RGB backlit keyboard. The vents are on the bottom of the laptop along with thick rubber feet. The Razer 14's build quality is outstanding. It has a full aluminum chassis that feels solid with no obvious flaws in the construction. The display flexes a little bit but not the keyboard jack. Unfortunately, while the finish is fairly scratch resistant, it's quite a fingerprint magnet, so you will have to wipe it down often to keep it clean. The overall build is very close to an Apple MacBook but doesn't feel as premium. The Razer Blade 14 has an outstanding hinge. It feels smooth when opening and closing the laptop and it's easy to adjust to your preferred position. It's very stable and doesn't wobble at all. You can open the lid easily with one hand, a nice quanti quality of life feature that you would expect on such a premium device. The Razer Blade 14 2022 is fairly compact and should fit into most bags. The power adapter is a little bulky and heavy, though still smaller than most 230W chargers. The Razer Blade 14 serviceability is ok, accessing the internals is easy as you only have to remove 10 T5 Torx screws before removing the bottom panel. Unfortunately, the memory isn't user upgradable. Opening the laptop and changing the hardware may void the manufacturer's warranty.
The Razer Blade 14 2022 has two display options 1920 x 1080 144Hz IPS 100% sRGB or 2560 x 1440 165Hz IPS 1000 uh, uh, sorry 100% DCI P3 both displays look sharp at this screen size the 1080p panel has a pixel density of 157 ppi which is still very good that said it is best to get the qhd display if you plan on using the laptop for productivity as the increased sharpness improves text clarity the 16 to 9 aspect ratio is good for gaming and media consumption however it feels a little too short for productivity a taller 16 is to 10 aspect ratio would have been preferable as you won't have to scroll as much when reading a document and it would have also shrunken its rather large bottom chin the razor blade 14's qsd has a high refresh rate and fast response time delivering a clear image in fast movement scene with only a tiny amount of ghosting 1080p 144 hertz display likely has similar performance the razor blade 14 2022 has decent reflection handling reflections aren't an issue when viewing bright content with the screen at maximum brightness however they are distracting when viewing dark content as the matte anti-reflective coating doesn't reduce the reflection intensity and creates the hazy halo effect in other areas of the screen the razor blade 14 2022 has decent black uniformity there's no backlit bleed, but the whole screen looks more blue than gray, and it's a little patchy in some areas. Black uniformity varies between individual units due to manufacturing tolerance. You may get some backlit bleed, which is common for IPS panels. However, you can expect the rest of the screen to be fairly similar. The Razer Blade 14 2022 has decent color accuracy out of the box. Most colors are inaccurate because it targets a wider color space to produce more saturated colors. Some might prefer this oversaturated look, it just isn't accurate. The white balance is good overall and the color temperature is very close to the standard 6500K. Uh, target the gamma sticks to an almost flat 2.2 instead of flowing the srgb curve making dark scenes to dark and bright scenes to bright color accuracy varies between individual units but the difference is, is usually manually the razor 14's qsd display has an outstanding color gamut it has full coverage of the srgb and dci p3 color spaces making it suitable for viewing the producing sdr and hdr content its adobe rgb coverage is excellent but likely not enough for professional photo editing as it can display saturated greens the 1080p display only has full srgb coverage the razer blade 14 2022 has a great keyboard it feels spacious and has a standard layout that's easy to get used to. The keys have a good amount of travel and feel satisfyingly tactile. Although the although they aren't the most stable, overall it feels great to type on and while the operating force is a bit high, it isn't tearing over an extended period. It's a little loud but not annoying, so it shouldn't bother others in a quiet setting. It has full power key RGB backlighting which you can customize through Razer Synapse software. The Razer Blade 14C speaker gets reasonably loud with minimal dynamic compression artifacts at max volume. However, they don't sound good as the mids are muddy and there's no bass whatsoever. The THX 3D sound setting is on by default and makes the speakers sound subjectively old. The speakers were tested with the setting off. The Razer 14's webcam video quality is very good. It captures a lot of fine details with a good color reproduction and only a little bit of noise. However, the image is too dark, voices sound loud and clear over the microphone but slightly hollow. The Razer Blade 14 has an excellent port selection. It has two USB-A 
port support usb 3.2 zen to data transfer speed up to 10 gbps the two usb c's are also usb 3.2 zen 2 ports and support video output via display port 114 you can charge the laptop via usb c but only with a 20 volt charger with power delivery 3.0 there's slot for a kensington lock on the right side